And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Clay the Carpenter! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, ready to go for round one, and when you've got a cardiovascular skill set like Clay Guida, there's really no reason to pace yourself in round one. He knows he can go a hard 15 minutes if need be. Clay Guida trying to get off to a better start here tonight than he did his last time out. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Print the shirts, ground and pound. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Nicely done. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his pool. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, that killing is tight. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish, but he cannot rush. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard, and you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing their legs, chasing triangles. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finisher. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try, and in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy, I have. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cerrone takedown defense is there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Straight punch. Useful. Takedown defense is there. Just a huge strike right there. I'm not sure. Takes a fast shot. Betty Land. Great job. Guillotine jump. That guillotine is tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. over giving up that submission. Cerrone's trying for the Kimura submission here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Under a minute to go. 
All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Green. Five minutes in the books. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He throws the left hand. Oh, effective use of the jab by Cerrone. And a miss with the right hook. Time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, nice hook. Switch kick to the body by Cowboy Surround. Whoa! He's got to start throwing down. Big combination for Cerrone. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Got it, it's deep. Constantly a moving target. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Guida. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. is tight. Oh, he got out! Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Side control now. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time game tonight. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. 
He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Oh, he's staying busy here, connected with a barrage of punches. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yes. Yeah. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, elbow strike landed by Sharon. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. Karina's eye looks so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate. Oh, my elbow's deep. Yep, yeah, that guillotine's deep. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and his show in that defense. Great submission defense on display tonight. Right into side control. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is shown... All right, breaking the action here. No surprise to see it. The ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swelling bad. But he seems to still want to be out there. Fighter trying to state his case to stay in the fight. It looks as though the doctor's going to allow him to continue at least for now. Yeah, but he's got to make some adjustments. He's got to keep his hands up, and he's got to keep his head off the center line. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance. And as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they will flip. They start booing. And sometimes guy's eye is hanging off the side of his head. All right, there's the end of the round. Guida's eye starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his Ready defenses. Fight. Ready. Go. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, Well-timed overhand there by Guida. Big elbow there, Lance. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Beautiful. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Guida's eye is almost trying to set up a choke here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. Oh, great reversal to top position by Sharon. in half goal. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's going to keep going there. Tries to work it into a takedown. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward, then off to the 
outside roll to his back to release that pressure. Under three minutes to go in our third round. The doctor may have to take a look at this. He's getting hit on that swollen area over and over again, and it seems critical now. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Great ground and pound by this man. He's got that arm triangle watching pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Ground and pound strike there now. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Cerrone. In the half guard. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented. That All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. All right, so the damage continues to be doled out, and I think a lot of fans watching at home would probably like to see the referee call it. And, and that's very rare, because fight fans want to see violence. But right now, you have seen that this guy is beat, this guy is battered, he doesn't have much more. He has not done the right things to allow for himself to win this fight. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. the grounded pound strike here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Making all these shots count. Cerrone's back in full mount. So the fight goes the distance, and man, did they entertain the masses. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, Guida. Judge two scores it, 28-28, Cerrone. And judge three scores it, 28-28. This bout is considered a split draw. All right, champ, the finish does not materialize for either fighter here tonight. Both fought well, and both have to settle for a draw. Yeah, you know, sometimes no one separates themselves, and that's what you get. You get a draw. Can't be disappointed. The fighters are. But me as a broadcaster, or someone sitting next to the octagon as a fan, I, I don't feel that empty knowing that both guys are kind of go away with no loss. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Patty the Patty Pimbla! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Tony! You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Ferguson has been such a submission threat and successful striker in the UFC that people sleep on the fact that he does come in with wrestling credentials. Two-time collegiate All-American at Grand Valley State University. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. 
mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that foot punch. You love that jab. Push kick there to the body. Nice job early on by the BJJ fighter to engage the boxer here in the clinch. And if you're the boxer, maybe he's going to get a Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the kids. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ferguson. Big ground and pound. Great work here from the bottom fighter. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Jab by Tony Ferguson. Massive head kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Mommy's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting awesome. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to getting ahead of him. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Patty Pimble. I'm trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Ferguson. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Don't wait, you hit him first. Try to establish that jab. Just over two minutes, round one. Pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you are like one high grab a wrestler. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Final seconds around one. Gets to the single collar time. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. 
All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. Pimlet gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave him up. Nice straight right hand. So confident. That timing was on point. Nice takedown lane. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. to set up that hook again. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, and tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Pimble. Oh, a gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that and not really tell where that kick is Circling away towards the left now. Just over three minutes to go. Nice straight left hand. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you do it up to it. No, I, you know, watching these two fight in preparation, you don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is... Strike there, and that one opened up a cut. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Kimlet's going for the sub here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Ferguson going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the total. I mean, it's, it's landing. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. And again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes. Because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He's got that single column time locked. 
pin. That takedown was kind of beautiful. Oh, looks tough to me. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Ferguson's trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Look at that. Going into the arm ball. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Patty Pimble. Strike for good measure. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. You're losing this fight. Everything you all right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. Effective jab there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Awesome level change. Great timing. What a strike from off of his back. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop his fight. There, huge block for him. And they separate. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other. And I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. Oh, oh he's in real trouble now. Oh, nice body shot. Business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do this. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. That's it. Tony Ferguson. No judges needed this time around. Holy smokes. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 47 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. 
All right, so a big win for Tony Ferguson tonight. A lot of lightweights will say he presents the toughest matchup for them, and that was certainly the case for his opponent tonight. Absolutely. He's so long. He's so tall. He's so different, right, in the way that he approaches these fights. But he also is just a great competitor that will do anything to win a fight. And tonight, he did exactly that. tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ladies and gentlemen, an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. Well, he's got as big a fan base as any fighter on the roster. Here is Nate Diaz more than 10 years with the UFC now, and maybe we'll see the Stockton slap here tonight. Don't put it past Nate Diaz. If an opportunity presents itself to connect with that open palm, you gotta think Diaz will take advantage. A oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, it could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching you with the jab over and over again, and then when he starts to let that right hand fly, Diaz is trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. He's gonna take off on here. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Uh -oh. fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, and it's possible. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he dropped that straight left on you. That hurts so many. for Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, big shot, man. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing the volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Diaz. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. It. Two minutes have gone by. Nice straight punch there. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Matthews' forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Diaz is punched to the body there. Doesn't get. Gets he jump. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip. He went right back to the dominant position. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Matt. Making all these shots count. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Diaz is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, beautiful jab there by Matthews. 90 seconds to go in the round. Yeah! 
Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209 representing well here tonight. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. Got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Jake Matthews. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Matthews has his got full mount now. This is where he wants to be. Oh, big elbow. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Matthews. Final seconds of round one. Now trying to trap an arm. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about stop, stop, this fight, stop. folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, fight. stayed calm, Ready. relaxed, Good. and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, round two. Nice shot moving up. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Hides it behind that slap right here. Diaz's strike attempt there is blocked. Misses on the uppercut there. All right, so we didn't see any take out attempts from the DJ. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Matthews is looking to pass in a half guard here, but he's denied. Stop. And the Stop. referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Yes, it is. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. 
This has got to be it. Oh, hang on a second. And he escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. Diaz, ground and pound from half guard now. Striking from every position. Lands a strike from the bottom. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. this, in the zone. this guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every right. kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. And being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this. Just out of range with that punch attempt. He's going to get deep. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking... Oh, he's out. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there... You have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. He passes the half. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. To he's out. What's the mission? with the ground and pound strike. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Ready, yeah. You're constantly Ready. under attack. Good. There is no place to rest. Or you can rest with most guys. you got to be very aware of this guy. Or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave the punch. Down to home for that punch. Spacing as they exit the clinch. What a beautiful jab landing there. Matthews gets the single leg takedown. Well played. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Matthews' overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Flip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fight in the He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he pulls guard. Right into the triangle here, I mean, he Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. He needs to push the arm to the side. 
get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the mat. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right-left combo by Diaz. Oh, nice. Beautiful power guy. He's got him in the place. Swing and a big miss by Matthews. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> back to the feet now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Get T jump. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, that's gotta be this. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. Oh, he's hurt bad. Matthews has got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, great submission defense. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Diaz is in half guard. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. So there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Though. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Nate Diaz! West Coast. Nate Diaz gets it done tonight, DC. Big effort from the 209. Man, still balling. My man, Nate Diaz gets the job done again. What a fighter. Stockton's own. Nate Diaz.
our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Joe! And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Sherrickman! You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, so here is the bona fide UFC middleweight contender, Sean Sherrickman. Once he found his weight class, he has been unstoppable. A lot of people believe that eventually 12 pounds of UFC gold are going to be wrapped around Sean Strickland's waist. If that is going to be his reality, tonight is one he's got to have, and he believes the clinch game is going to be the key to his success here tonight. Oh, that's a big hook there. Great technique in the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that one landed right on the spot. The one-two punch is true. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Lands a beautiful leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Trying to double up on that jab. Hands up. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, connects with the one-two. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice shot to the body there. Well, how good is that jab by Strickland? Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. it to a takedown. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Still trying to get the submission here. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Really good job with the ground and pound, and now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. Just over two minutes to go in round one. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Picture oh, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. He might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, good left. now well champ I don't see that well but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow a lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight yeah it's an investment John it may not pay dividends oh he's on wobbly legs now oh the jab followed by the right hand 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ten seconds now in round one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Great block there. Stop. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. One-two punch by Strickland. Just a slip there. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Slips the punch. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got you to defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be, you can't be too skinny. Nice job blocking that punch. He's hurting bad here. Watch the It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area with a great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly Oh, he might be out. Big shot on the feet. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? He's got the choke in. Good work, guys. Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock. Roll it to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in back mount now. Under two minutes now to go round two. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Great shot from the top position. 
Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Change of the position. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Strickland. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He is... Oh! It's a big left hand. 20 seconds to go. Beautiful punch lands there. Oh, he's still hurt. He can't even stand. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Oh, oh, all right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Don't be stupid. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. He works at the jab. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Well, why is the KO here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. That eye's starting to close. Oh, that is it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sean Strickland! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bazon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Muhammad Ali! You ready, fight? Ready. Well, a true pinch me moment for mixed martial arts fans around the world as they have locked the octagon door behind Muhammad Ali and the all timer Fedor Emelianenko. You know, John, they talk about the greatest of all time. We get an opportunity to see two guys who at one point were considered the greatest of all time in their crap, as Muhammad Ali is considered the greatest boxer of all time. And when Fedor Emelianenko was on that run, many thought he was the greatest MMA heavyweight of all time. These two are fighting for history tonight. Let's see who gets the job done. Fedor Emelianenko goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. He loaded up there in that high kick. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Nice right hand. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Muhammad Ali gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He's able to slip the left there. Circling towards the left now. Oh, nice left hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Emelianenko. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Takedown defense holds up. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Ali. Slips to avoid that left. Missed on the right hand. Flips that left hand. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Slips the shot. Fedor Emelianenko going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Two minutes on the round one clock. Trade huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Slips to avoid the run. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Just misses there with the left. Nice. That's it. Nice Leg shot. kick. Million echoes bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Nice. Ali going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Push. You got one minute left. All right, good. Oh! Evade stance space. Body shot. Unable to connect with the right. Yes, sir. 45 good. seconds remain in the round. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And a nice left hand there on the inside. 30 seconds in the round. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. 
Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Oh, there's a sharp lead hook by Ali. Final seconds here. Second round, straight ahead. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round. And all right, so Emelianenko's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully, the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. It's bleeding pretty good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the Ready brow. He can get Ready. through this. He's just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his own blood, so oh, that helps get, things a little bit. He'll get a, he'll get a lot of things. Oh! He's hurt bad. That punch, no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business. And they are going to win it up right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Millionetto gets the double leg takedown. Get up, get up, get up. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Now he's got the arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Drop his Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just filled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. Uh, Emilian Enkos is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 it don't take the... All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Yep, got to be very careful there. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Ali's back in full guard now. Making all these shots count. Emilian goes back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. So Emilian goes back in full mount. He's got to be careful here. Under 90 seconds to go. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's in half guard now. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the buck. Oh, nice headlock. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Oh, now he's in 
trouble. Oh, there he is! Oh, Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. result here tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ i mean you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard he's so skilled he's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a dark choke, and on! Well, the celebration is on in his court. And hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.